Good morning everyone, you're with Tom from Ludicrous Feed and this is our Kia EV6 GT Line all-wheel drive review series. Today we're looking at the V2L or vehicle to load capabilities of this car, both external and internal. There's the external plug right there with a 15 amp socket which connects to the charging port of the vehicle. We'll check that out today. As well as looking at the internal socket of the car which is in the second row. But first, I've got to dry my hair. Okay, so there is our trusty hairdryer right there. Pretty standard hairdryer. And hopefully you can see that, 220 to 240 volts, 1750 to 2100 watts. All right, let's try it out. Okay, time to plug in, pretty straightforward. It's the standard socket, there we are. Now you'll notice that it's still blue, which means that it's still in standby mode and the car's utility mode is off by default, so we've got to go to the screen and turn it back on. Okay, so the only way I could get the internal to work is to plug in the external port and uh, now that the light is green over here on the external one, the internal one is also now green. But if I take out the external one, the internal one goes back to standby, so uh, if anyone else out there has an EV6 that knows how to work the internal port without the external plugged in, let me know. There, EV powered, blow dry. Time to cook breakfast. Okay, so we've got everything we need for a fantastic breakfast. We've got an electric grill, we've got a kettle, we've got an air fryer, and of course a Kia EV6 GT line all wheel drive with a V2L vehicle to load external adapter with 68% state of charge left, transferring V2L, ready to go. Okay, first step is to boil the water. Looks good on this end. And the light is on, on the cement kettle. Signs are good. And there's the load coming from the traction battery, 2.1 kilowatts to heat the water. There we are folks, a full kettle of water boiled by the Kia EV6 V2L external adapter. Okay, next thing I'm doing is cooking up some Indian style roti prata from Aldi, which is a flat bread specialty usually of Malaysia and Singapore and this one's suitable for vegetarians and vegans as well. Okay so that's the uh, flatbread that comes frozen. I'm just going to stick it straight on the electric grill that's been preheated. Mm, sizzle sizzle. And it's currently drawing 2.2 kilowatts from the traction battery and it's dropped down to 67 percent with all the cooking we've done. Okay when it starts to puff up like that and we just Flip it over, that beautiful golden brown appearance. And yes, it's lovely and flaky when it breaks apart. It goes really well with dal vegetarian curry. Looks pretty good there. Flip it over one more time to check. Yeah, that's pretty good there. All right, and that is Pretty much ready to serve. Okay, and the final thing I'm cooking today is a bit of lunch for later on. So I've got some potato gems here, or tater tots, as you call it in the US. And we've got a sausage roll here, but with a twist. This is a plant-based sausage roll. And uh, yeah, had it before, it's actually quite tasty. So we'll see how the Kia EV6 copes with the humble air fryer. Okay, let's pop it in the oven. There we are. Slot it in. It's pretty good in there. All right. Okay, there's the load for the air fryer. 1.7 kilowatts and the battery is still 67% after all that cooking. Okay, so the air fryer is done. Let's have a look. Ooh, 
Look at that, crispy brown all throughout. Good job, Kia, good job. Okay, and the final job this morning for the Kia EV6 is, wait for it, wait for it. That's right, it is now charging our Tesla Model 3. Woohoo! And how fast is it charging? Well, the Model 3 is receiving 2 kilowatts, 10 amps, whereas the car is delivering 2.3 kilowatts. And interestingly, the battery state of charge is now 66% for the Kia's traction battery. So after all our cooking and charging this morning, it's only dropped about 2%, maybe 3% since this morning. So that's pretty good. And we're using the uh, supplied 10 amp charger from Kia rather than the Tesla's UMC because what's really interesting when I try to use the Tesla's UMC is that I get a fault with the red Tesla symbol there and the error message from the car says unable to charge with mobile connector inadequate socket grounding try a different socket so there you go, doesn't work with the UMC, but works fine with the Kia's supplied 10 amp charging cable. So there you go, that's the vehicle to load capabilities of the Kia EV6, both internal and external adapters. As I mentioned earlier, if any EV6 owners know how to get the internal adapter working without needing to plug in the external port, let me know in the comments. I feel that the external adapter would be super handy to have when you're camping, or if you're hosting an event somewhere and you need a portable power source or great just to have as a backup during a blackout at home. For the internal port as I demonstrated earlier, useful to be able to dry wet hair after a swim at the beach or maybe even just to dry some wet clothes. If you have any suggestions on what you'd use the V2L adapter for, make sure you leave a comment below. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, stay safe and as always, happy charging. There we are folks, a full kettle of water boiled by the Kia EV6 V2L external adapter.